is Anthony, Court Alignment Coach and Neuro Linguistic Programmer. Today I want to give you a quick message of kind of acceptance, a way to really take acceptance um, with where you're at. <clears throat> and the first notion is that this is a core alignment principle, that we are all whole, perfect, creative, and resourceful, making the best decisions that we can using the information that we have. And that's such a cool, cool principle to know because if we could do better with where we at where we're at as human beings we would each and every one of us is on our own different path so there is no comparable path of my experience is different from theirs because of course it is you're having a different experience you're a spiritual being having a spiritual experience that is totally entirely different it was designed that way every snowflake is different so don't be so quick to judge somebody else's experience because you don't know what they're going through. You don't know what they have to do. You don't know what experience they're having. Um, but just by knowing that each one of us is a unique snowflake going through our own experience, doing the best that we can with where we are at, will give such an, a better amount of perspective and acceptance and that's such a huge thing um, yeah so you're doing an awesome job we're all doing an awesome job with where we're at if we could do better we would and we are things are getting better things are moving forward we're moving towards mastery we're moving towards <clears throat> more flow we're moving towards more love we're moving towards more um, acceptance more joy more passion um, <clears throat> the reason why it's not comparable, and <clears throat> of course there, are, you know, other people are having a different experience, and it was meant that way. The reason why I say it was meant that way, I have a little stuff in my throat, so it's like <clears throat> it's hard to speak. The reason why it was meant that way is because we're all forms of consciousness that kind of have forgotten who we are on purpose, right? So we're each having our unique experience to refine ourselves on our own separate paths that's why no two paths can be the same that's why you can't compare yourself to other people because we're all individual unique snowflakes on our own individual paths and figuring it out for ourselves that's where the whole notion of we're all doing the best we can with the information that we have comes into play <clears throat> and that's where more acceptance comes from the notion that we are all whole perfect creative and resourceful that's a core alignment tool and principle um, <clears throat> via Kate Michaels of core alignment that's one of our core tools we're all whole perfect creative and resourceful doing the best we can making the best decisions that we can with the information that we have and knowing that little bit of information and tying it into the spiritual realm will give you such a greater perspective and greater acceptance of where you're, not just where you're at, but comparing yourselves to others and where they're at. Going, you know, well, uh, I think they should do this or I think they should do that. You don't know what somebody else is going through. I don't know what the next person is going through. So I could judge, but I would just be making a false misrepresentation in my own head <clears throat> it wouldn't be real it wouldn't be what's real and true because i don't know anybody else's path i only own <clears throat> know mine and so this is significant especially because as in the competitive realm which is what we're all <clears throat> we've all been um tuned to follow this competitive narrative where we're competing with the next person by the way which is totally illusory and is not a form of abundance at all. In fact, it's quite the contrary. Um, having a competitive nature and competing with your fellow man instead of uplifting and collaborating um, is the total uh, illusory um, abundance. It's not true at all. It's not true abundance. True abundance comes from collaboration, bringing up your fellow man, being happy for somebody else's success, being happy for somebody else's joy. That is true abundance. But back to true acceptance. True acceptance is knowing that you are perfect, whole, complete, just the way you are. 
and that everybody is the same way and that everybody else is having a different, unique experience. Everybody else is a different, unique snowflake in this whole cosmic conscious realm. And there is no comparison. So you might find some similarities and you might say, well, my path is, seems like it's similar to that person's, but that's really just surfacy and illusory. It's really not true because you don't know what they've gone through. You don't know what experience they've truly had. You only know what they say or what, what you see. <clears throat> but when it comes down to it, we're all having this unique um, experience of re-owning ourselves, rediscovering ourselves, refinding ourselves. Um, so I hope this gives you a little insight on acceptance and using that principle too, which is, like I said, is a core alignment principle that we're all whole, perfect, creative, and resourceful, making the best decisions with the information that we have will give you a broader sense of acceptance <clears throat> and unknowing, a different perspective um, to give you more insight on the nature of everything, the nature of us, the nature of God. <laughs> All forms of consciousness that kind of have forgotten who we are on purpose, right? So we're each having our unique experience to refine ourselves on our own separate paths. That's why no two paths can be the same. That's why you can't compare yourself to other people because we're all individual, unique snowflakes on our own individual paths and figuring it out for ourselves. That's where the whole notion of we're all doing the best we can with the information that we have comes into play. <clears throat> and that's where more acceptance comes from. The notion that we are all whole, perfect, creative, and resourceful. That's a core alignment tool and principle um, <clears throat> via Kate Michaels of Core Alignment. That's one of our core tools. We're all whole, perfect, creative, and resourceful, doing the best we can, making the best decisions that we can with the information that we have. And knowing that little bit of information and tying it into the spiritual realm will give you such a greater perspective and greater acceptance of where you're, not just where you're at, but comparing yourselves to others and where they're at. Going, you know, well, uh, I think they should do this or I think they should do that. You don't know what somebody else is going through. I don't know what the next person is going through. So I could judge, but I would just be making a false misrepresentation in my own head. <clears throat> it wouldn't be real. It wouldn't be what's real and true because I don't know anybody else's path. I only own, <clears throat> know mine. And so this is significant, especially because as in the competitive realm, which is what we're all, <clears throat> we've all been um, tuned to follow this competitive narrative where we're competing with the next person, by the way, which is totally illusory and is not a form of abundance at all. In fact, it's quite the contrary. Um, having a competitive nature and competing with your fellow men instead of uplifting and collaborating um, is the total of, uh, illusory um, abundance. It's not true at all. It's not true abundance. True abundance comes from collaboration, bringing up your fellow man, being happy for somebody else's success, being happy for somebody else's joy. That is true abundance. But back to true acceptance. True acceptance is knowing that you are perfect, whole, complete, just the way you are, and that everybody is the same way, and that everybody else is having a different, unique experience. Everybody else is a different, unique snowflake in this whole cosmic conscious realm, and there is no comparison. So you might find some similarities, and you might say, well, my path is, seems like it's similar to that person's, but that's really just surfacy and illusory. It's really not true because you don't know what they've gone through. You don't know what experience they've truly had. You only know what they say or what, what you see. <clears throat> but when it comes down to it, we're all having this unique um, experience 
of re-owning ourselves, rediscovering ourselves, refinding ourselves. Um, so I hope this gives you a little insight onto acceptance and using that principle too, which is, like I said, is a core alignment principle that we're all whole, perfect, creative, and resourceful, making the best decisions with the information that we have will give you a broader sense of acceptance <clears throat> and a knowing, a different perspective um, to give you more insight on the nature of everything, the nature of us, the nature of God. So that's it. That's my message for today. Just be in acceptance of where you're at, knowing that we're all we're all God. We can't be anything else. You can't cut your left hand off and not affect your right hand. It's just what is. We're all part of the same cosmic consciousness, refinding ourselves and having acceptance. The more acceptance that you can have with where you're at and with other people, the better experience you will have hands down and the more you'll see everything as a collaborative effect, which is such an abundant principle and quality to have. Um, and that's what it's all about, us living our abundant nature. We're surrounded by abundance all the time, all the time. If you're just in nature, if you're just out, air is abundant. <sighs> Everything is abundant. Sunshine is abundant. Rain is abundant. It's all abundant and we're all in it together. So there's no reason for the competitive, uh, only in a friendly nature of like, you know, ah, you want to compete friendly. That's, that's a friendly frame of competitiveness, but it's not real serious. There's always an upliftment in collaboration. Always, always, because to be abundant, you have to be happy for others so but this video is really aimed at acceptance and um just being in acceptance of where you're at so i hope you've gotten value from this <sighs> if you can give me a like subscribe if you haven't yet and i'll probably post this on my instagram stories so peace out